In this video, I have decided to confess my sins. You know that feeling that comes with you never hear any lecturer or anyone telling you to write assignment. So me this one, so me that one. <laughs> anyway, that's the way I'm feeling right now. I'm super grateful, I'm happy, and I'm excited. A few days ago, I wrote my last paper as an undergraduate of Nam Azikiwe University. And I'm also optimistic to know what the future holds for me and sport. Earlier on today, I was kind of looking back at my uni days and it made me realize that there are a lot of things that I actually missed out, which normally I shouldn't have, but I did. So I'll be talking about those things in this video. And if you are an undergraduate watching this video, you might want to incorporate one or two things of the things I'm going to say here. Incorporate them to your schedule or to your, you know, your plans so that you will not regret your uni days like I am doing right now. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first major thing I regret not doing back in my uni days was the fact that I was never adventurous. I didn't explore, I didn't um, travel out or see other places. So all my life I've lived in the eastern part of Nigeria, Anambra State to be precise, and I've never gone to any other state apart from my you know present location. <laughs> <laughs> and to make matters um, kind of um, really difficult was that most of my friends in the university, most of them live in the eastern part of Nigeria, like they also live um, in the same location with me. So, and I've also visited their homes and their families. It, it was kind of um, repetitive. There was nothing new going on in my life. So, um, I have to say this, as a university student, this is the best time for you to travel out, explore, uh, you know, make other new friends apart from people around you. So I regret not being adventurous. <laughs> Next is, I wish I had prepared myself for more failures than success back in the university. And when I talk about this, I'm not just talking about passing your courses or getting good grades. No, because <laughs> the university life entails more than that. I'm talking about the challenges and failures that as a university student that you should kind of like be ready be prepared to see all of them okay if, even if it's not happening to you it might be happening to your friends or someone around you you just have to like prepare yourself for it and again these challenges ranges from emotional challenges financial challenges uh, even spiritual challenges as well <laughs> Yes, yes, spiritual challenges, it's also included as well. Sometimes I feel like I did not prepare myself that much for these challenges, but you know. So um, as an university student, you just have to like get yourself prepared to face some of these challenges. You just have to have this resilience and coping mechanism in order for you to stand strong, be strong, and also um, stay true to yourself and to your home training as well. Go get him, Tiger. I am one of those students that will stay in their hostels, lodges, two days, three days, five days, one week, without stepping outside. <laughs> Except for lectures, um, church programs, and to see my friends. Apart from that, <laughs> I love staying inside. I love, love, love staying inside too, too, too much. But at the same time, it's also affecting me. <laughs> so I really regret not going out more often, you know, like seeing more people, just going out entirely. I forgive you. Next one is, I regret not joining any student club while in school. So my lifestyle in school, we are basically go to lectures, come back to my lodge, and then do whatever it is that I have to do. And tomorrow and next tomorrow, I'm repeating the same process all over again. So um, I, it's kind of unfortunate that I'm realizing all of that right now, because at that time, I really didn't see the importance of joining such clubs. Uh, but right now, I've come to realize that it's actually very important because it's going to help improve my communication skills uh, even make new friends at the same time so if you are a still a student right now I would advise you to join a student club or even join any club in your church or denomination because it's really really going to help you okay 